Hello lovelies, I'm Freddy and welcome back to Dungano, but to goodbye despair. Right. So we just finished up the class the class trial and uh, found that Mikan is the killer, so it seems your arguments have reached a conclusion. So let's proceed to our regularly scheduled voting time. Now then, please pull the lever in front of you and cast your vote. Who will be chosen as the player? Oh god. <laughs> will you make the right choice or the dreadfully wrong one? I already know I made the right choice. Let's go. With everything we got, it's punishment time! I just really like how he says that. Look, let's be real. Suck it, bitch. Wait, what? All rise. Well then, though it may be obvious at this point, Correct. you got it right once again! It's like three in a row! And that's right, the true identity of the horrifying blackened uh, who killed two girls was Mika and Tsukim uh, Sumiki. Tsukimi, what the fuck am I talking about? Damn it. You gotta be shitting me. Are you saying Mikan, one who nurses back to health, was the one who killed them? I won't forgive you. Don't joke around with me, Mikan. Did you lie to us all along? We planned to kill them from the start while you were nursing them? <laughs> Don't just laugh, say something! This is going nowhere! What's going on? This chick. Hey, hey. This is nothing like Peiko. She's actually gone mental. That's There's nice. nothing we can do. She's no longer the same person. She's no longer the Mikan Sumiki we knew. Huh? Hey. Based on my prediction, she might have caught it too. She probably had the despair disease, which was the motive for this case. Oh. What? Mikan too, you say? I... I know because I was looking at Mikan for so long. She was the one taking care of me, after all. My consciousness kept drifting, but even so, when I did catch a glimpse of her, her expression was full of despair. A despair so devoid of hope that not even a single fragment of it remained. Hold on, did you say Mikan also had the despair, despair disease? Then, that means she was... What? Huh? Hajime, has something crossed your mind? Oh, I forgot about this. My body's heavy. No, that's not just heavy. It's somewhat soft and really hot. Oh, that's right. Mikan felt really hot at that time. Now that I think about it, it must have been a high fever. Just like what Ibuki and Akane had. It cannot be. Then, because of that disease, Mikan was... Perhaps... The symptoms that she surely felt must have been deserving of the name despair disease. Losing all hope and harboring despair of all, for all hope. Because of the despair disease, she was likely overcome with despair. See? That's the reason why she can still laugh at such a hopeless situation. <laughs> oh, that's fucked up, actually. So if she wasn't... Which means the Mikan staying before us is no longer the ultimate nurse. Wow, okay, so she wasn't affected, then she wouldn't have killed anybody. She's a completely different person now that she's infected by the despair disease. Isn't that right? She a human who deserves to be called the ultimate despair. Ultimate despair? <laughs> oh god, I hate this. I... No reason why I cannot forgive this. I mean, killing someone for the sake of despair instead of for the sake of hope. Possibly. There's no way I can even forgive that. Oh? For the sake of despair? <sighs> That's completely wrong! Huh? Wrong? Wrong? What's wrong? What I did was for the sake of my beloved. Is she a Yandere? Huh? 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 Who are you talking about? <laughs> if only they were still alive, they'd be so happy. I know. Um, uncomfortable. Was the only one. That's right. Uncomfortable. Never hated me. Who the fuck is that? Gave my existence. Ah! Gave me and accepted me. They gave me value. Ah! They loved me. I loved them with all my heart, and they returned it in full. This is my reciprocation. <laughs> I understand that it does something unforgivable, but you know, but you know, uh, to transcend all that is truly love. 
what love is all about. Hey. I don't understand what you're saying. Same. What? <laughs> you don't understand? Is it because you don't have anyone to love? Is it because you're also someone who isn't accepted by anyone? <sighs> what a pity. I feel sorry for you. Well, even if I say this, I'm sure nobody here would understand, but love is a wonderful thing. <sighs> Ah, this feeling of freedom where you no longer care about anything. My beloved and I are the only ones within that thin veil, and I'm just looking to out through it. And that's why, as long as I'm on the inside, no matter how much they tease me, splash me with water, kick me, it's like nothing matters. I could just die. That's how little it matters. She's a fucking... She, she's very young today at this point. I don't like this. Please stop. Who cares about hope or despair? It's love. Only love. Could it be? Nikito. Is this really the despair disease you were talking about? This is. It seems like that. It seems that I was wrong. Not only was she affected by despair. You were half right. It's right to say that this is all thanks to that disease. Because thanks to the disease, I was able to remember my beloved. Remember? <laughs> Apparently, that's what my symptom was. <laughs> what a wonderful symptom. Which means you had the remembering disease. What? But if this means she remembered something and end up like this, are you saying you were like this from the start? Were you like this before you even came to this island? Let's not get so angry. Well, first of all, the reason I became like this wasn't my fault. It was all your fault, you know? Because it's not like I'm entirely responsible for turning out like this. I'm the person I am today because of many human relationships. Huh. I mean, I guess. So it's everybody's fault that I turned out like this, you see? <laughs> Even so, the current me was most strongly influenced by my beloved's existence. And it was because... Sorry. And it was also my beloved who created me, the me that everyone can't forgive. But my beloved can still forgive me and still accept me. And that's the key difference between all of you and my beloved. Don't fuck with me. Like I said, who the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> Are you saying this is Mikan? She's the real Mikan. Mikan, please answer me. Do you really remember? You ended up like this all because you remember? There's no way I can believe that. There's no way the person you are right now is the real Mikan. <laughs> oh, you still doubt me? Then, to prove I remember, I'll tell you some all something nice. <laughs> it's about the World Ender Organization that you all were worrying about. You serious? You know? <laughs> Not, no, I just remembered, that's all. I knew about it all along, about a hor that horrifying organization known as World Ender. It's also the organization known as the Future Foundation. What? Hold up! What? Future Foundation, future... That's right, the symbol on the ancient ruins doors, that's right! It was a Japanese word for future. Oh, shit. Just what was, is the Future Foundation? What are they planning? As the name suggests, the organization is the world ender. The Future Foundation is trying to end our world. To put it simply, they're trying to claim the world for themselves. This is bad. Oh, what the heck? This is a comic book, you know. <laughs> As part of their plan to end the world, the Future Foundation brought us to this island. I want to spoil it so much from the anime, but I'm not. Hmm. Isn't that right, Monokuma? Yeah. Monomi, sorry. Huh? I, I knew it. Monomi, Monokuma, they're both members of that crazy organization, aren't they? <laughs> <laughs> Monomi and I aren't members. I am my existence is entirely my own. <laughs> <laughs> hey. Don't laugh. Hey, Mikan, if you really remember, then you already know, right? You know the true identity of the traitor hiding among us. <laughs> of course I know that. Let's see. The feature foundation lackey that's hiding amongst, among you all is... Oh. oh, well, no one really cares about that, don't you think? Of course not. Oh, hell no! <laughs> You'll find out eventually, so there's no need to be impatient. Probably when that countdown ends. Countdown? Do you... You even know about that? Oh. I don't know anything. Huh? I have a feeling that what it is, 
but who cares about that, you know? <laughs> I'm drowning so much love from the bottom of my heart. I just don't care about anyone or anything. That is... Mikan, is this really you? I, I won't... Mm, I, I'm like having a stroke halfway through this. I'm sorry. I, I won't believe it. There's no way I can believe it. You were like this all along? Because if that's true, then who's the person you, we've been spending time with up until now? The past. The past? That person, she didn't exist in the beginning. She's just my past self who lost her school memories. <laughs> <laughs> you guys consider that thing a friend? Oh. Sigh. That doesn't make me happy at all. It just fills me with despair. You guys accepted my past self, but not my present self. That's... Well... Well, that applies to you all as well. Memories of people, memories of events, whatever memory it is, losing memories are... Oh, like losing your personal identity. Memory is the most important compound in building a person, don't you think? Losing our memories makes us the shadows of the past. Don't you think? Hey. I don't know what you're trying to say, but in the end, it always leads back to that story. That story about the stolen school lives. Hey, hey. So it was true all along. Our memories were taken away. Damn it. If that's true, we won't be suffering this much. <sighs> well, why don't you just take your sweet time and remember at your own pace? Oh, oh Manakuma. Is it alright for you to start now? Yes, indeed. Punishment time? Damn it, why? Mikan, why does it have to end like this? This is too pointless. This is too much. Now then, I prepared now the a very special punishment. Now then, I prepared a very special punishment for the ultimate nurse Mika Sumiki. So it's over. It's really. Now I can go to my beloved, who always forgives me. I still want to know who her beloved is. I don't know. I can finally see them. Oh wait, I think I know who her beloved Please is. Forgive me. The one who's going to die with the hope of finally seeing you. I think I finally, I think I know who she's talking about. Everything we've got and punishment time! Yay! Oh yeah, time to move this again. Most unprofessional thing that you can possibly think of. It's finished. Is it really finished? The killer who killed Ibuki Miyoda and Hyoko Saonji was Mikan Sumiki, and she's been executed. She apparently committed her crime because she was afflicted by the despair disease. So what? What's finished? Nobody wanted it to end this way. Let me ask. Who was that Mikan from earlier? Was that her true form, or is that itself a symptom of the despair disease? Fuck did I just say? Or is that it's or is that itself a symptom of the, of the despair disease? Why can't I say that that sentence? Symptom of the despair disease. Bah! <laughs> it doesn't matter either way. If she end up like this just from remembering, then all along the Mekon was never worth being a symbol of hope. Right. Even if her words were influenced by the despair disease, if the disease turned her into that. She lost herself to a simple disease. She was definitely unworthy of being a symbol of hope. Isn't that right? So, let's just move on. <laughs> Come on, let's take all this despair and change it into hope. Please, wait. Th that's impossible. Uh, I mean, I thought we were friends this whole time, but even so. Damn. Like a house of cards collapsing in an instant. In the end, our friend we thought we knew ended up showing us a completely different side of herself. 
and she vanished from our sight, leaving behind only her malice towards us. And now, there's no way we can just move on or try to have a clear-cut attitude about these feelings. That's clearly impossible. Damn it! It, it would have been so much easier if she was that traitor, too. Wrong! Too bad that's not the case! Mikan was not the traitor! Come on! The traitor is still alive! As proof, see how fine Minomi looks right now! <laughs> I, I'm not fine at all! Hmm? Huh? But if the traitor died, you wouldn't be this calm, right? I mean, you're both pawns of the Future Foundation, so you guys are like two hearts beating as one, right? You fiend. What does that make you fiend? You did say that you're different than Minomi. Phew. Who cares about who I am? More important, I'm tired. The drama just kept going and going. I didn't even have a time to eat my black bean right eye during the, during the break. What? My black bean right eye? What the fuck? Hey. Your right eye is made out of black beans? Hey, hey. Wait, now's not the time to focus on that. What are you trying to say? Hey, um... You know, isn't it said that life has its ups and downs? It's fun because downs come after ups. But if life was full of downs, wouldn't it get boring? <laughs> so, we want to keep you guys feel... Hope you guys feel better. I prepared a special event. Special event? <laughs> <laughs> Head over to the First Island's Beach. An old friend will be waiting there. Old friend? Huh? Could it be Nakamaru? Hey. Is that... It is, isn't it? Nakamura was safe after all. Hmm. Um, safe. How should I say this? Hmm. I knew it. That crazy bastard Nakamura would come back to us in one piece. <laughs> awesome. We're starting to see the light of hope. Um, the light of hope. Um, I am happy Nakamura is returning to us, but... But I... So just as I three thought. of our friends just died. So I honestly cannot be happy. Hmm. And Sonia. However... However... Even so, I am still happy. If Nakamaru is safe, I am truly happy. If you are happy, you should honestly greet him with open arms. Perhaps those who have been taken from us would do the same if they still lived. Huh. Hey, Supreme Overlord who gives of who gives a shit. <laughs> Mood! <laughs> that line doesn't suit you at all. Silence. Silence, I shall crush you into dust. Um, Ibuki, Hiyoko, Mikan, can you hear us? If you are unhappy, I apologize. However, please forgive me for right now. I want to warmly welcome Nakamaru when he returns to us. You don't have to worry, Sonia. I'm sure your feelings are reaching them. Right? Then let's go greet Nakamaru. Let's make it grand, even for those who have died. <laughs> huh? What the heck? There's not the after effect of that disease? I don't get this at all. Akane. All right. Alrighty, then let's go! Yeah, you're right. Alright. So, Nakamura was coming back, coming back. When we heard that, we were unable to contain our excitement as we jumped into the elevator. Oh. Uh -oh. Man, they just ran off without listening to a word of what I had to say. Jeez, they're so impatient. Didn't they learn to stick around until others finish talking? Um, what does that mean? Hey. You're, you're plotting something again, aren't you? No way! <laughs> I'm not plotting anything. I was just trying to properly explain everything to them. Including Nakamaru's body. Mm -hmm. I don't actually know what that means. I just really thought that was a good opportunity. Huh? Nakamaru's body? <laughs> it's their fault for not sticking around until I finish talking. So if something happens because of that, I bear no responsibility. Hey, you. What did you do to Nakamaru? What's this? What did I do? I saved him, that's all. I mean, if I didn't do that, there's no way I could have saved someone who was that, that close to death. So it just couldn't be helped. <laughs> oh, okay. That's the point where. Okay, so as soon as we exit the elevator, we all started running. Hurry to the beach on the first island. Alright, all right, let's haul ass! Oh, come on, let me pause. Ah, fuck it, whatever. It's gonna be a long episode, I guess. Even through our mind, even though our minds were completely exhausted, strangely enough, our bodies felt light. Without stopping for anything, we kept running. We kept up right on running towards the beach on the first island. What are we gonna see? What are we gonna see? What are we gonna see? What the fuck? That's new. Oh, where, where in the world is Nakamaru? Hey, hey, Nakamaru, show yourself. We have come to pick. We have come to pick you up. Please hurry up and come out of hiding. We raised our voices. We looked around the area. We raised our voices again, we looked around the area again, and so on and so forth, we kept looking for him, but... Hey, hey. What the hell, man? He's nowhere to be found. 
Could it be? Could it be? Did we get false information from that Nekamaro? From that? What the fuck am I trying to say? Sorry. Fuyu, Fuyu Hiko's voice is the one that keeps changing, and I apologize for that. Like, it's been like, what, like 30 some episodes, and I'm still changing his voice, like, every time. Could it be? Did we get false information from that Monokuma again? And that's when it happened. We heard a familiar voice echo throughout the beach. <laughs> what happened? Were y'all looking for me? Could it be? The voice! With high hopes in our hearts, we turned towards the direction of the voice, and then we saw something truly unbelievable. Huh? What the? Yo! I've kept you waiting. Hey, what's going on? Perhaps you don't remember my face since we haven't seen each other in a while. That's pretty sad, you know? That's too much! <laughs> what's happening? Um, who are you? Huh? You too? What's going on? Uh. If you're messing with me, I'll stop doing it to you. Don't say it like that. Um, Nekomaru? Haven't you... Noticed it yourself? What do you mean, noticed? Oh, you mean this body? <laughs> this is nothing! What? Hold up! <laughs> My name's Nekomaru Nidai! I've been reborn in the rivers of hell! So he's a robot now. <laughs> That's actually pretty fucking cool. I this is a thing that's happening now. Oh no. Oh no. What's the timer saying now? Nine days left. To what? I don't understand that at all. Woo! Finish up chapter three! Oh okay. Oh man, now I'm, I'm like sad though, because I like Ibuki a lot. But it's alright, as long as my Bay Akane doesn't die, or Chiaki, I'm set, okay? Chiaki can't die because I love her so much. Alright, Chiaki and Akane are my Bay. Ah! Oh, I don't want to nurse Apron. Nikon scared me. Save my current progress. Hell yeah, I want to save my current progress. And I'm going to end this episode off here. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Check out my other videos. Check out my other games. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. Don't forget to say Miss Call. Until next time, goodbye, my lovelies. <laughs>